So in this video, I want to import my carry turtle model in Marmoset Turbac 3 and try to make a decent render using an SSS material skin shader. So I'm not really used with uh, Marmoset Turbac, but I want to work more on him because it's real time rendering and is definitely a good software so let's go and uh, to file import model and let's go to desktop let's go to carry turtle and i have an obj file is just on straight export folder from 3ds max i select all object and export it as obj let's open up and as you can see we have our model also if we go to turtle we can close the object that are separate like eyes okay perfect first and first let's go to scene and let's set the scene let's show scale reference as you can see look how big is the turtle so let's choose centimeter because that's how i export it from zebra uh, from 3ds max and as you can see the model has changed okay perfect now let's go to sky okay first let's close our scene scale let's go to sky and here we can choose another hdri Hmm, not really sure which one. Let's go with this one. Now let's go to mode and we can actually go to sky and see the uh, the background. We can go and rotate it, the light depending on which side do we want this 3d model so let's amp this light something like this and now I'm going to go in color mode because I do not want to see the background you can change the color but <laughs> I like this grayish okay press ok for now let's go and create an SSF material so I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to rename it SSS shader okay perfect now first thing first I need to go to Lambertin and select subsurface scatter let's press actually let's go back to Lambertin and drag this model so we can see the change okay the light now seems too strong okay, we can play more later with this now let's go and add our normal map awesome this is pretty cool now we can bring albedo which means diffuse map so let's take total texture map and the obvious thing is that the specular map is way too strong so we need to go and bring the intensity low even more 
Also, we can play more with Fresna. Something like this. We can also change it later, so that should not be a problem. Okay. Actually, let's, let's go back even more. And we can also change this Fresnel color to reddish, pinkish. Okay, next step, let's create another light. So I'm going to go back in new light and move it on top. Let's see how this reflection works. Oops. Okay, we can brighten this up, not too much. Distance, or you can go to transform, but let's keep it the default one. So now let's go and bring our scatter map. Okay, and we need to put this on white so our scatter map will apply. You can add it as much as you want. Let's keep it. Something like this. Now the cool thing is that we can create another light, move it on top of this model and then let's go to image and let's go to desktop maps and import some caustic. Also let's increase the brightness a lot and add some tiling. So we can have our caustic from 3ds Max, which is pretty cool. Let's test this one. Yeah, it will be perfect if I had one tileable, but let's keep this one for now. We can go to sky and let's increase the brightness. Okay. Pretty cool. Now let's go to our next map. So I'm going to import my specular map. So let's go back to the stop K turtle and specular map. And let's set the value lower, intensity. Okay. For the first map, I'm going to use the same specular map. So even if I'm scattering this a lot, I will have some information. I do not have really much translucency but I'm going to use this uh, subdermal map 
Yeah, let's play. Let's play with this intensity. Okay, and you can apply the same effects on and maps for the eyes also. Now if we, we go to main camera, we can play a lot with these uh, settings like exposures, we can add more contrast, something like that. You can add saturation, so this will change a lot. You can add more sharpness, but we do want to keep some limits there. You can also interesting bloom, black is getting too much sun. <laughs> You can add also, also vignetting, this makes the image more interesting for your portfolio. You can play with softness. You can also add some grains like uh, photo, like your ISO is too much. This is also awesome. Now let's say that everything is on set, so we just need to go to capture and image capture. And that's it. If we go to desktop, uh, our momo said just capture an image of what I did. So I really hope you find this video helpful. I will definitely work more on Marmoset Toolbag to improve my skill. But this software is perfect to showcase your uh, artwork, adding lights, also to test out how your uh, 3D model looks like in real time engines. So I'm going to so I do have some ideas on some characters that I'm going to want to add them in Marmoset Turbo. So if you did like this video, please subscribe, give it a share or a like. See you next time.